Now, welcome to Great Pals Battery Monday. My name is Zach Zimmerman, and today's topic will be modular batteries. But before we go ahead and start the modular battery discussion, we'll need to cover a few battery terms. First, cells, battery packs, and modular batteries. Although these words are usually collectively referred to as batteries, each word actually has a different meaning. A cell is the building block for batteries. One battery cell contains five different parts. The electrolyte, the cathode, the anode, the separator, and the housing. A good example would be the 18650 cylindrical cell or a pouch cell. A battery pack, on the other hand, is a finished product, consisting of one or more cells that are connected in series or in parallel with a positive and negative terminal for charging and discharging. A battery pack may also contain a PCB, or a printed circuit board, which is also known as a PCM, a protection circuit model, or a BMS, battery management system, a cooling system, and possibly other types of protection systems, such as a hard case. Certain applications, such as electric vehicles and mass power storage, like solar grids, require a huge battery pack. To get there, we'll have to create modular batteries, a modular battery is a battery pack that has been designed to work in tandem with other battery packs of the same specification. By introducing or reducing batteries in a modular setup, you'll be able to fulfill your power requirement without being limited to a set capacity or voltage. The main advantage of a modular battery is that it is easy to replace. If one of the modules fails, you can directly replace that module instead of scrapping the entire battery system. The failure of one module will not impact the system or the site operation. Another great advantage of modular batteries is heat dissipation. With a good battery management system, modular batteries will dissipate heat much better than a single large battery pack. An example of a modular battery is the 12.8 volts 7 amp per hour version designed by Graypal. Us. This modular battery can support up to four groups of batteries in series and 10 groups of batteries in parallel. You can configure the module battery according to the needs of the electrical equipment that you have. If your previous lead acid battery system is a 24 volt, 20 amp per hour battery, then you can use six groups of 12.8 volts, 7 ah modular batteries in series and parallel to achieve 25.6 volts, 21 ah. This is all that we're covering today. If you have any questions about today's topic or have any battery related things you want to know, please feel free to contact us by email at info at greatpow.com and who knows, may even answer your question in the next Battery Monday. Till then, my name is Zach and thank you for watching. Bye bye.